need to make bread. So we got flour, we got water, we got sugar, we got salt, we got yeast, and we got vegetable oil. That's all the things you need to make bread. So let's get started and you can all make the bread with me. Alright. Okay, I'm ready to make bread now. I have everything measured out. <clears throat> so we're gonna start with the uh, we're gonna start with the yeast. Actually we're gonna start with the sugar. The sugar is one teaspoon, one one teaspoon of sugar. I just put it in these little things. So we put the sugar in. And then we got three teaspoons, like nice round teaspoons of uh, yeast. I got the fast rising yeast. We are using the quick rising yeast. And then I got three uh, nice teaspoons of salt. So now we're going to put the water in. So I'll measure it for you guys. So I got a four cup measuring cup here and I've already heated the water up. So I'm going to measure it in front of you guys. You want it to be room temperature. You don't want it to be too hot. This is a little bit hot, but I could add a little cold water to it. Just a sec. A bit too hot. It's like, you know, you got to test it like when you're making a bath for your kids or whatever, your little kids. All right, so now it's perfect. Right, so let's put the water in there and see how much we got. How much I'm going to do. So, so we got four cups. I'm probably going to do like six or eight cups. So we're going to do six. We're going to do six cups of water. I got one cup of oil here. It's vegetable oil. You can also use baking grease if you'd like. And I've got one cup here, but I'm only going to put half of the cup in here. And half of it's going to go on the dough once I've got the dough ready. So I'm going to put half of it in, in right now. Set that aside. And so I've got these bowls. You can get them at the dollar store. So I got one bowl full of flour already that I've sifted already. So we're going to put that in. I'm just going to give it a little stir with my hands here. Make sure that uh, everything is uh, dissolved. Let's see. Let me show you guys what it looks like. This is what your water will look like with the yeast, the sugar, the salt, and everything in it. And the oil. Some people do without oil, but if you want to make buns with it, um, then you might want to put oil. But if you want to just make crusty bread, then you don't have to put oil. Alright, so let's get the flour in here. So you want to dump like a lot of it in there so you can really get working with the dough, right? So we're going to put the whole bowl in there and then I'm going to sift some more out before I get my hands all messy. One bowl in like one small bowl. We'll see, we'll see if I need more. If I do, I'll get more. Right, we'll put that to the side and let's get mixing. Alright, mix in though. And I took my glasses off because I don't like my glasses to be all full of the, full of the flour. It sucks having to clean your glasses a million times a day. Alright, so now we're just going to keep doing this. Mix it together. Just like when you're playing in the mud when you're a kid, you know. Making mud pies. And if you've never done that, then you haven't lived yet. So basically, it's really nice just forming into like a dough here. So once I get it all mixed like this, we're gonna cut it. Like just like use it like, uh, do what the machine would do, right? Mixes it all up. And once you get it all mixed up, I leave it in the bowl the whole time, but some people put it on their counter. So now it's like all mixed together like this. So now I'm gonna add more flour. I'm gonna get some of this sticky, this is like the shittiest part of making dough. <laughs> Excuse my language, but yeah, this is the sticky part that most people don't like, you know. The stickiness, but it comes right off. If your hands are clean, you can put all this right back into the dough, right? Not just putting your love into it. See, this is what you do to get it off. You just get flour on there, and you just kind of like peel it off with the flour. That's how you do it. Get a little more flour. Make sure you get it all around. And then you want to put a little flour around your bowl and kind of just do this so you have a nice clean bowl. 
I gotta get one of those cameras that, uh, you know, you can put it in any kind of uh, situation, right? So most of that stuff has come off my hands now. And I have a bread maker. And you use your hands. And you have to put love into it. You have to have patience for it to rise. So always, when I do bread, I always find other things to do in between. So that way I don't get bored. So after this, I'm going to probably... Um, get started with the readings, um, the full moon readings, so everybody can come join me. I don't know if I'm going to make the video before I do the readings, because the video, making the video day does take a little bit longer, so I won't be able to make the video actually, so you will be seeing this video after I've already posted the full moon reading, but check it out anyway. So we didn't even use, we used maybe a bowl of that, not even. We didn't use, yeah, we can use a big, so about one bowl of flour, a little bit more. So now it's nicely into a dough now. So I'll show you this. This is the dough, what it looks like. It's nice and it's, and then you got to make sure it's not sticky. It's a little bit sticky still, so I'm going to knead it a little bit more until it's uh, not sticky. And then I'm going to put the oil on it and then flip it over and the oil will help it rise too. And then you'll see how big the dough gets after. Well, if you're in a good, if you're in a good mind state, you can make beautiful bread. But if you're not in a good mind state, you won't. Your bread won't turn out. Just saying, it'll turn out hard or whatever. You have to be in a good mind state to make bread, and you don't want to over knead it either. Really okay. nicely, thoroughly. Like when you once it rises, once it once it risen has risen once. Yeah, it's a workout too, as I say. And my hands are clean. Look at that. I just finished putting the rest of it in the sink. And they're not sticking to this dough. And now we're going to pour this, or the rest of the oil, right in the, all over it. Like this. And then I'm going to flip this dough. So let's, say, let's flip this baby. You don't want the oil all over you either, so. Yeah. So the oil will help it rise too and then you put you can put oil all over the top too a little bit so it's a little bit full of oil mm -hmm. the rest on the now later this oil will come in handy right a little bit of oil maybe I put a little too much but you know you can just put another bowl over top so we're just gonna put this in there like this and we're gonna let it sit we're gonna let her sit until she see now you don't see the dough right well, when I come back, you'll see it coming up. All right. Hope you enjoyed doing that with me, and I uh, hope you try it too. All right. God bless you. Hi, everybody. I'm back, and I just thought of an idea because I got hungry. So let's say you're making bread and you're hungry, and uh, you don't really have anything just munch on right then and there. Uh, you have things around your fridge or whatever. You have things that you can put into a pocket. I, for instance, you can put anything, eggs, cheese, whatever uh, you like. I uh, have some bacon in the fridge that needed to be cooked up, so I cooked up the bacon. And I have some beans left over. Some little bit of beans left over from the ones I made yesterday. This isn't the one I made the other day. This is the one I made yesterday. So I'm going to add the beans. I'm going to add the beans to the um, bacon. I already took the grease out, so I'm going to heat up these beans right here and then I'm going to uh, grab some bread like not bread but I'm gonna grab some dough from here let's see how far it's risen already look at this guys dough has come a little bit up already and so I'm gonna take some of this dough and I'm going to make a little pockets and then I'm going to deep fry them in my deep fryer and if you don't have a deep fryer, mm -hmm. use a pan if you don't have a deep fryer. So, um, so these are almost done. Like they just have to add the bacon with so the those beans. Are a little, a little quick, bit more. quick ideas for meals, you know. It doesn't have to be totally Ooh. mushed up. You can also melt the cheese in here, but you don't need to do that. You can just put it in the pocket over there. It's what I'm going to do, and it's going to melt anyway when you're. I'm going to turn this off now. Dough here. We're going to use that. I got my dough. 
We're just going to cut off a little piece from it and we're just going to use a knife and you use, use from the ends like from the sides you want to use from the sides and you just pull it. Actually you need a little more for this. So you pull it you have a piece of dough and you just kind of work with it. Make it thin as thin as you want. So it's kind of like a fry bread that and you can also make fry bread if you are at this point of the bread you can also turn it into fry bread so fry that just that all alone and then you can dip it in cinnamon as well so we're gonna make pockets from this but i'm to make it i have to mix it up a little bit because it's uh it's a little thin in some areas we don't want that the pocket to fall through right so we're just gonna do this I don't like when you're doing a pizza, right? Or like a panzerotti, right? Right, so. You got, you don't have to have it perfect. So we're going to use a plate to work on. I actually took a lot of my dishes and put them away because I'm sick of doing dishes. So you just make it flat on your, on your plate. And you know, it doesn't have to be perfect, right? Whatever you want, like it's your it's your creation. Do whatever you want to make. Whenever you want to make something, you're hungry, do whatever your taste buds want to. You know, I got cheddar here. And so we're gonna put the cheddar at the bottom. And then I'm gonna put the cheese, and I'm gonna put the beans and the bacon on the top. And you can put as much as you want, nice and full one. Mm, right? So then I'm just gonna fold it over. Make sure it's stuck, it sticks in all the areas. And this is what I'm gonna make for everybody right now that's in this house, me and my boys, basically. So we're gonna make at least you know, I'm at least three, but we're going to make maybe a little more than three. All right, let's get another one. So this is about, we don't want it too thin because it was it will bubble up. So and again, put your cheese. Oh, yeah. oh, that's just bean. Put your cheese in there. Pull off a piece. These ones are a little stuck together. So we pull off the piece of cheese. We've got the cheese in there. Add the beans and the bacon. And if you've ever had my beans, you know I just know that my beans are the most best beans ever. All right, so. And you know that beans are now becoming more expensive than um, a lot of the other foods. And when I was a kid, we ate beans because it was uh, it was a cheap way to get protein in your body when you didn't want to always eat meat because you know we did not always eat meat we always had animals and stuff but we didn't always go and kill them you know we had a lot of animals that we didn't you know use for meat mostly chicken that we did and stuff and then all the time a pig and a cow not a milk cow but you know oh and that's for that I know my kids are gonna love these right kids if you watch my video I don't know if they do Probably not. Maybe sometimes they do. Only if they miss me. Can't miss me if I never go anywhere. Mm -mm -mm. I was hungry, you guys. That's why I started doing this. But I was going to do the full moon readings and then I decided to do this. Because I was hungry. So, we got four here. And we'll see if the freezing hot. I'm going to put it down now. See you guys. Okay, right, now we're going to just hold it over. Oh, I can't set the camera. Hear that? That's what you want your dough to sound like. <laughs> That's a healthy dough right there. And I, like I said, it did put a little bit too much oil on it, but it'll be okay. Okay, flip it over again, and once it rises again, then you are ready to make the buns. We put the lid back on. Look at these babies, they are almost done. They're done on one side, look at that. They're gonna be so awesome. Can't wait to eat them. 
Look what I made. Look what they look like. Isn't it so nice? And I cut it open now so you guys can see what they look like. I only cook two at a time in the, in the deep fry, but you can also put these in. Put these in there. Look at that. It's all done, nicely cooked. And there it is. You enjoy it? I'm gonna take a little bite, but I think it's a little hot right now. I'm gonna try. Mmm, did you hear that crispiness? Mmm. This is like fry bread, but with the stuff inside. Stuffed fry bread. Mmm. Mm -mm. I was hungry guys um, this is why I made a quick meal when you when you're making other things you can always use a lot of the things you can use for multiple things like you know mm. if I drop anything my doggy will get it <laughs> now I just gotta wait for the other ones to finish might have to turn them once because they don't turn on their own. So I just gotta give them a little help to turn. Look at that. They don't take long to cook because everything inside of there is already cooked. So you're just basically cooking the dough. And that's what I do. And I'm just waiting for the dough to get bigger so I can roll them. I'm probably gonna just make loaves of bread today. So it's gonna be quicker. I might make some uh, roll, like roll bowls, like make a, make buns, but I am probably going to do the quick way because it's already like 7 o'clock and uh, I haven't even done the readings yet and I wanted to get the readings done and so I'll see you all later. Alright, so uh, we are ready to put it into loaves of bread. Look at that. Isn't that dope? I have to take my rings off. I was going to do readings, but have all my rings on. I do sell these five dollars a ring and I make these. Got my hands full of rings. And they also copper so and this one here has a healing stone on it. It's my first stone I put in there. Alright. So all right, we're started. gonna get started. I'm gonna get uh, my loaves. I got this two somebody wanna go buy it hunks and then I got this one. This one's gonna have like two big ones. You know there. But I got to put some oil on them. So I'm going to use a little bit of the baking grease to put in here. And then it's going to have like a little bit of like that flavor of bacon, you know. So I have another one of these, so if I need to get the other one out, I will. So now you see how big the dough is already? And then I got to let it get big again in this. And then while I'm doing the readings, I'm going to be, i got my readings all set up, so I'm going to be doing the full moon readings for everybody, for all the signs. And, uh, yeah, so these are going to be rising for probably, I think each time it, it has to about, I don't know, about an hour. Well, whenever, you know, you see it nice and big, right? So what you would do is you just grab. You don't want to bake too big because you want you want them to grow. So you know, this much into this little one, and you can beat your dough and see how it's like all bubbly. I don't know, it's not the perfect lighting here, but eventually I'll get my lighting and all that for my camera. So yeah, this is what you do. You fold it. Look at the bubble up when you smack it. When you smack your dough, it likes it. All right. And you'll have like nice and uh, crusty bread. So you put it in there and you let it rise. It's sliding because of the oil. And now you go to the next one. It's a little bigger, so I'm going to take a little more. You just when your when your dough has uh, bubbles like this, pop the bubble when you have really good dough, eh? That's when you know your dough is perfect. 
So yeah, it's it's soft. It's soft and fluffy. Good All right, job. so for this towel over them, and then let them rest. Wash them. Towel. Yeah, just a cotton towel. All right, I'll let you know when it's done. Look at these breads, look how big they got. Look at them. Alright, hope you enjoy that. And then I'll take another one when they're done. Now the bread's all done. Look at that. So I'm going to uh, show you guys how I how I let it cool down. So I'll show you now. I'm going to take it out of the pan. So we just use a towel and then do that. And then look at that. That's the smallest one. And we just put it on top like that. And we're going to do the bigger ones. Flip it. Should just come out right that. Look at that spread. Look at that spread. Still warm. Uh, this bread is, is going to last a couple days and that's it. It's, it'll be gone. <laughs> Alright, and one more. I left it in perfect time. I left it in long enough. And then we got the big one here. The big, big one. This one. That has two in it. So this one. I have to put it... I'm just gonna have to put it on the back of uh, on the back of the uh, pan. Set it on there. Here it is, the bread I made from start to finish. This one. Let's cut the baby one. Let's cut this baby one. This little one. Let's cut it. And then we're gonna cut it right here. Oh, everybody loves it. Oh, everybody loves the crust. Look at that. That nice piece of bread. Oh, it's like soft. Very soft inside. And crispy on the outside. Nothing better than fresh bread, right? There they are. Alright, God bless everybody. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I know that half of my viewers are not even subscribed to my channel, so if you're watching my videos, at least you could subscribe. It's free, right? Alright, bye now. Love y'all. Bye.